Thing with all these magical hidden underground tombs of adventure, right? Who keeps all the lamps lit? No one ever asks these questions. Hello everyone, my name's James. This is Legacy 3 The Hidden Relic, which is one of our sponsors for this week. We always tell you up front when we've got one because it's the right thing to do. A lovely line of constellation is drawn out in front of me, something which I think might come in handy later for a puzzle. So I'm gonna grab my camera and I'm gonna take a quick pic of it. I reckon that these placings could be important. Bosh, there we go, camera for room four. So this is a adventure point and click puzzle game, I guess you would call it, in which you have to wander through a series of different rooms connected by this central hub. I'll take you on a brief guided tour. Uh, the idea is that there are all of these different pipes and electrical pathways and different colored doors and they all link up to this center concourse thing. If I stick my nose in here, you'll be able to see that there is this gigantic central chamber. And in here, oh, the mysteries of the world and the universe and where that sock went. I can't find my sock, where is it? So clearly, hello, look at all this, look at all this pulsing in this guy. I have to unlock a series of puzzles and contraptions in order to activate access to this central room. I've been exploring the red corridor, but there's also a blue and a green one, I think, around the corner as well. But I'm not finished in here yet, so, I'm gonna try and see what I can do with that photograph of that there constellation. Now, I've done a few rooms of this puzzle house already. I might jump between some different ones which aren't interconnected just to show you what it looks like and maybe not spoil everything completely. Now this, I've been stuck at for a little bit, but I've realized that this is a sun at the center and that's why I took that picture. So yeah, that. That, to me, with the grid on the background, screams puzzle settings. So I'm gonna go one, two, Three, four, five. So I can do that about that bit first. So it's like one, two, three, four. I think that's right. Did I get that right? One, two. No, I got that slightly wrong. One down and that. So that one's off. That one's there. That one's there and there. Is that right? Yes, that looks right. Good. And then we've got two straight down and one to the side. Do, 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 like that. And then we've got one outlier, three up from the left. Hey! Oh, I've been stuck at that. Nice. So we've gotten that little cogwheel turning. So if I can, can I slide that up? Can I make a movement? What can I do? Oh, I pressed the sun. Nice. Now everything's cranking and the turbine wheel moves over here. So if I tap this, what do we get? Yeah, we do. Nice. I like it when a plan comes together. So where am I gonna find myself? Ooh, hello. You again. So this little blue orb, it kind of indicates, as it says there, it activates little teleportation portals in each room, which means that I can actually jump between the rooms. If I hit this little medallion here, you can see anywhere where I've activated a teleportation, this shows me where I am, I can just tap any one of those and jump to a different room, which is quite sweet. It saves me, can't go through while I'm spinning. Uh, okay, okay, now I've activated the teleportation. I don't need this lift anymore. So, theoretically, I can disconnect this by tapping that again. And now I can just jump up here. And this is the game telling me that I should teleport, right? This one? Yeah! Now I'm up here, I can go through this gap. Splendid. So there are about, like, 20, 30 rooms or something all together in this place, and they're all interconnected. And this puzzle particularly, I need another paper for this to be useful. But I should probably take a pick. Good idea. Yeah, but in order for a lot of these puzzles to make sense, it involves jumping back and forth between the rooms. It's very keen on keeping the puzzles sprawling. So it's not just solve one room and then move on to the next one and forget about the old room. What's this? A torch. I like the look of that. This game is much more about, we've got this bit from room 12, then this one from room nine, and then if you remember, you saw that thing over there in room 34, and you're like, oh Christ. So you've kind of got to keep your wits about you. That looks like, yeah! I thought I saw something which indicated we should do that, because red fire at the back, you see, we need to get this lit. That's definitely a mission. What else have we got around here? Hmm, it'll also fit in there, won't it? Maybe we need to activate it or something. Now, we've got a series of numbers. What was that thing I took a photo of just there? 
it's not going to be zero, one, two, three. That's just that's far too easy. That will not work. Let's see if I can get through this door. So yeah, it's a game that relies on you, damn. Remembering what you've seen before, taking that into account. Oh, hello. Look at all this business. I guess that's what this is all about. But I need another piece of paper in order to unlock the full puzzle, because man, that looks complicated. Yikes. So let us teleport to a different room. If we go here, because this room, I connected this vast tube to this water funnel here, which is dripping away, and I feel that might come in useful later, because it doesn't seem that anything in this game happens by accident. This table, I never got this table, because it seemed that there were like... There is four! Okay, I think I think we've got it, guys. I knew that there were these like lines on each of them, and to me that seems too obvious, so I reckon that these were supposed to be numbers, but I couldn't find anywhere to use them until now. With that little key code, if I grab a picture... So what, I'm only going to count those lines, and I reckon we stand a good chance of that being the code. Although I may be completely wrong here. Right, we can teleport to any room that has an amulet. That one doesn't have an amulet, but we can still jump back to here. And then hop through here. Yeah, this is what I mean about trying to build a mental map of where you are in this vast complex. And it kind of rewards you paying attention and being mindful of your surroundings, young Skywalker. So, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, three, two, and then four, five, three, two, four. Let's have a go at that. Oh, you just tapped the numbers. Okay, five, three, two, four. Hey! And we've got a bucket with a hook. Oh, the water, the dripping water. Hang on, it's all coming together. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I bet you this will work. If I jump back here and hang over there, this, surely, yes, yes indeed. And it's reliably filling with water, nice. So there was this lovely little electrical puzzle thing we had going on here, where you had to move these lines in order to connect up this little Electrical circuit, I guess, but you had to make sure it was traveling in the right direction and oh, it's a whole thing Another reason why I'm starting in the middle of this game is because I don't want to immediately spoil it all for you Because uh, that's no fun. Is this full? This looks full surely. Oh, there we go. I guess it's full now So we've got our bucket of water and I'm thinking that that connection room this we need to get these up Can I tap? No, I can't tap it quickly. Ah, hang on, hang on. Hold on a minute. Oh yes. Yahtzee. Right, I've got those grip things and I've got another collection of numbers which probably connects up to that puzzle we saw earlier. Oh yes. Let's zoom in. Get a nice look at these numbers. Bosh. There we go. I can now head through to this room and start Messing around with that spinny wheel thing that we saw to the left of the door just over here. Yes. All right, then. You know what? I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to necessarily spoil all of this for you. But if you want to have a go on this game, it is currently on iPhone, iPad, and Android. Legacy 3, The Hidden Relic is the name. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.